Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are installing a driveway system that's going to help protect a pool house. Uh, water's been coming down this hill, as you can see. It comes down, on, bushes are overgrown, but it comes down right through here and just pours up against the foundation of this pool house. You can see the stains on the side of the siding there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some catch basins, gravel perforated pipe, across here. Then we're going to trench, we have to cut the concrete and trench a line all the way down through and it will discharge. There's a small creek right over there behind that fence. So let's get started. Work progresses very quickly with three men. We already have most of the driveway side trenched out and already starting to run the saw. So we've got our main trench dug. They've really dug it out quite well. Catch basin, hook up that downspout. Pipe come through, gravel perforated pipe. Over here where we're running the concrete saw, we're gonna make the second cut, break that concrete out. The line will turn and go all the way across that patio. Another catch basin, another catch basin. Lots of gravel, lots of perforated pipe. When running your concrete saw, very important, always add water. There's actually a fitting on the saw that you can put water directly onto the blade. We find it a lot easier just to lay your garden hose out on the side. Keep that blade cool. It keeps the dust down and it cuts much better. Next, using a hand shovel, trench a line and a discharge out to the swale. Pretty simple job. One man can do that. It can be done in about 15, 20 minutes. Almost done cutting the concrete, just a few more feet. So once you finish cutting your concrete, a real important step, take the time, go ahead and hose off your concrete area because it will stain that concrete. The little bit of uh, dust that turns to sludge is pretty much just pure Portland cement. And when it hardens, of course, it will stain that you know quite white. After we're done hosing off the area, we're gonna go ahead and take our pry bar starting right here at the corner. And you can see the edge of that concrete. We're gonna go ahead and just start cracking it with a pry bar. Hopefully, that will pop right out of there. So if we've cut clear through, we should be able to just start pounding on this concrete and it should crack. We've already got a crack back here, but let's just see. That's pretty thick. You can pry that right up out of there now. Just keep prying. Go down a little deeper. Yep. There we go. Now we'll see how deep it really is, how thick it is. So you can see just how thick that concrete really is. Here's the original surface. The overpour is a lot. Let's try that next piece. Yeah, it's already got a crack in it, but hopefully the next piece will come out even easier. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, hold it on. Okay, go ahead and crack the next piece. So you can see the difference in the pour. It should crack, yep, it's cracking right through. So we just need to crack it all the way back. It takes a little bit, but it'll all come out of there. Yeah, they're all popping off of there really good. All we're gonna do now is lift them up and stack them. We'll put them in the trailer and haul them away. Gerald, so we can get to them, remember, we're going to take them away. That's, that's good, just, you know, we're going to take them away, though. There's only more, so I'm trying to put them back. So yeah, I know.
Okay, so kind of laid this out so you can see how this is going to look. Remember, this is perforated pipe, and this is actually coming over here to the downspout. We'll hook the downspout up. Catch basin here. Again, we're picking up all the water that's coming off this driveway, basically. And we couldn't go this way because of all the brickwork. There's also fiber optics buried where we would discharge, and it's a lot further to go all the way down there to the creek. So we had to dig through grade. Remember when you're planning your project, water has to run downhill. So basically we've dug through grade. We're gonna go deeper down through our trench here, but you can see the catch basins and how the system sets up. Water's coming off the driveway, drops into the catch basins. Remember this is also gravel. Gravel acts just like a catch basin or a channel drain. There's voids in the gravel, water drops right through it. It will go down to the bottom of the pipe. At the bottom of the pipe, there's holes. That allows the water to flood up into your system. It's all gonna come down. And of course, we're gonna cut, go deeper, but we're going all the way over there through this walk. We're also gonna add a drain right there in the center to help pick up any, any water that was missed by the system. Um, and we'll slope our concrete towards that ever so slightly. You can see they're just finishing up. Last little section, we'll lay this pipe. Pass it, get the tune up. Correct. Damn, we're losing some concrete now. So we're sliding it underneath of the channel drain here, the concrete one. You can see our hole there. You'll have to help and pull that through there, Chuck. We'll pull it all the way down through the trench. Pull it all the way down through the trench and then we'll cut it off to the length that we need. Corrugated pipe's pretty cool. I mean, it works really good. Solid pipe. You can have 100 feet of solid pipe. You can actually have 250 feet of solid pipe if you go to the manufacturer. That looks great. Go ahead and step it down into the trench. Pull it a little bit more. Pull it tight. Pull it tight, Derek. Somebody. Make sure it gets down to the bottom, past those roots. That looks good. Step on that, Derek. Or, hey, you're good. Yeah, it's good. And then we just step it down into the trench because there's lots of tree roots that tend to make it pop up. Like right here. Step it down. Make sure you get past your roots. Now we're ready to cut this off to length and they can start covering so this stuff up. Now we're ready to cut to length to attach our drain here. Real basic, lay it over the top of your fitting and cut it off. At this point we can lift up the pipe, do whatever we want. Makes it real simple. Remember these are barbs, it just snaps together. You lay it back in the trench. Next, we'll go ahead and hook up the next section, which is going to go all the way over to our catch basins, to the gravel perforator pipe I'm at the down our catch basin here. We're just going to put some dirt on it, come closer to me. That just holds it in place. Good, now we'll come and switch sides here. There we go. That's perfect for right now. Okay, so we're just putting some weight, some weight down on the pipe. You can see just a little bit. Always stand on your pipe so it's at the bottom of your trench. Real important. Once you get some weight on it, a good amount of weight, you're able to step off and then you can take your flat shovel and you just cover that. Catch basin in place. They're gonna throw some gravel. Somebody's gonna throw some gravel. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> throw it. it. Takes a lot. Try not to get it on the basin. Good. Next, we'll go ahead and clean this all up and wash it off. We'll be pouring concrete. Throw it in here, keep it up in the front. 
there's probably a thousand plus pounds, maybe two thousand pounds of gravel or of concrete here. And um, always got to haul it away. So we're putting the concrete down in here, just filling up the trench. Guys are mixing it. One guy trials it in place. Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. We've come back out here to finish up the last little bit of this job. You can see we've already poured our concrete. This is how it looks. Still drying. It's still wet. And it's quite hard right now, but it has, it'll turn extremely white when it's done. You can see we've got our gravel installed, catch basins. There's three of them. And what had been happening was water was coming down this hill of the driveway. The entire lot slopes over, comes down. Over the years, the driveway has really dropped off, you know, in this direction. And it just flooded across here and went right into their pool house some rot occurring inside so they've got to repair that but of course you have to fix the drainage problem first and so we've got gravel perforated pipe underground here that leads to the catch basin gravel perforated pipe runs across has a Y that runs down through here it picks up this side which comes down and comes into this Y and it runs all the way across we added a small little four inch drain here in the center to help pick up any water here on the patio. We also drilled a three inch hole down into the channel drain to allow the water to escape because this channel drain is long gone. In other words, it doesn't drain at all. We're just finishing up the job here. You see we're raking it up and we're almost done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.